All right, back. And I just did a little minor change. Instead of getting rid of Sir, I remembered that um, Waterfall is considered a physical move in the in the new game, so um, Dragonite gets to keep Waterfall. And besides, Suicune already knows Surf, so unless I need to go anywhere weird and I need Waterfall again, I'll have Dragonite in my party, and he could just take care of it. Oh, and by the way, Dragonite... Oh, uh, Dragonite can learn Fly, so it turns out I really don't need Togetic, but, you know, I don't really have a fifth Pokemon to replace Togetic with. I will in the future, but for now, nah. All right, allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. And uh, here we go. Um, I should have some epic battle music playing right now. And what I could do, I guess, is I could put up the music for, uh, let's say, I could put in the Final Fantasy VIII boss battle music. But I don't really... I, if I do that, then you don't get to hear my commentary. And I do want to comment, especially now, when I'm in the most epic of battles. Not the most epic battle ever, but one of them. Let's see. Um, so, boy, I fight a lot of Jinxes. I hope this Jinx isn't like Lorelei's Jinx, which kept on stalling. Um, it's an inevitable loss. So, here comes Fire Blast. You guys never really got to see it. It always has that little star thing, and I get the feeling that if that star were upside down, it would be like Hellfire or something like that, but anyway, all right, so here comes Slowbro. Boy, this is a lot like Lorelei, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to send out Meganium. Okay, Meganium, wreck his face. All right, first off, light screen up. I just know he's going to try to use like an ice type move or something on me. Uh, oh, Amnesia, special defense. Okay, fine. I'll just hit you with a physical move then. Oh, great. Look, at that's a pretty smart strategy, dude. He's really using his head there. Um, you know, you use Curse. He's, his speed is going down anyway. Like, slow, like Slowbo really needs speed. Okay, Executor. All right, so he's still got that little light screen up. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just hit him with uh, physical. Do I want to hit him with physical attackers? Uh, let's compare. Go ahead and say, hit him with strength. He's great, so he's leech seeding me. Um, all right, switch out. And I'll body slam him. Wow. We're really beating on him hard. Okay, let's see. Zaytu, yeah, he's got two Zaytus. So, uh, once again, we're going to switch back to Raikou to finish him off there. And... Mess him up, Raikou. There we go. So, that's it. Uh, first battle down. And Will's like, I can't believe it. See, that's what people should say when they lose. They should stutter and say, they can't believe. Even if I was though I was defeated, I won't change my course. I'll continue battling till I stand above all trainers. Now, Matt, go and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. You know, I like these... The stuff that they say, it's well thought out. I appreciate it. Now I got injured a little bit, so notice I didn't really pick up a lot of stuff. I didn't do a lot of preparations um, item-wise because I don't feel like I really need to. Because like I said, this is the lowest level Elite Four like in the history of ever. So let's see, switch out. Who am I going to put out front this time? I get the feeling that he's going to be using bugs, like being a poison-type trainer. Fwahaha, I'm Koga. I live in the shadows as a ninja. Uh, my intricate style will confound and confuse you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be a victim of my sinister technique. I feel it's necessary to laugh again. Pokemon is not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Fwahaha. So, there he goes. He's about to use Fireball no Jutsu on me. But, uh, in the meantime, he's sending out Ariados. Yeah, I thought as much. Now, people like Ariados for some reason. They're like... And I guess it's pretty cool, you know, a unicorn spider. You know, what's not to like about that? So let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Dig for once. Ah, double team. Man, that's annoying. Okay, well, if he's just going to baton pass to a Fortress, you know, why would he switch to Fortress, who has a times 4 weakness against my Fire-type Entei? 
But you gotta watch though, Koga really will use a bunch of indirect moves against you, and it hurts also. So, did it say Muck? Um, uh, let's see, should I stick with, yeah, I'll stick with the physical attacker Entei here. And let's try Dig again. I know it's probably not a good idea, because he likes to uh, bide his time there. But, let's see, I'll hit him with another Fire Blast. Come on, Fire Blast, hit. I know Fire Blast isn't that accurate of a move, but you see what he's doing to me? In spite of the fact that I have a legendary Pokemon, he beat my Entei. I mean, that's what, um, if you let these guys go on for too long, I'm trying to hit him with Spark there. There we go. That knocked him out. But if you let him go on for too long, he will get the upper hand on you. I mean, time is on his side. You want to knock him out as quick as you can. So it, the battles here will either be very easy or very difficult. Now me, I could have depended on Raikou, I guess, because Raikou is good for um, insta-deaths, pretty much. And by the way, y you see how I used Dig back there, and Dig didn't happen to do a whole lot? Um, that's why I don't rely on Dig a lot. I was like, eh, I'll just use it to, just to have it. Anyway, this is Raikou's time to shine is really in this battle. Because he, he could do a lot with his quick hitting. And of course, Koga... Beware Koga using items in these battles. Because the more items he gets to use, the longer the battle goes. But anyway, I beat him up. And, you know, hit fast or just prepare to lose. Like, I subjected everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go to the room, the next room and put your abilities to the test. Now I've got three minutes to... um defeat the third of the Elite Four, but for now I'm just going to use one of my ten revives, revive Entei, and give him some lemonade. There, see, 80 hit points. You see that? That restored all but two of his hit points, so it's very useful to have lemonade. Like I keep telling you guys, it's great stuff. Okay, let's see. Um, I forget which one he uses first. Is it Hitmontop? I can't quite remember, but what I'm going to do, I'll use another lemonade, by the way. Heal up Raikou. There we go. Uh, let's just keep Entei out in the front. I believe in our potential. That's how we become strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm, I see no fear in your eyes. Uh, you look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, you'll bow down to our overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! Okay, so, Bruno, yeah, like I thought, he sent out Hitmontop. So, what I'm going to do, and I'm out of Fire Blast, I'll just use Strength on him. Who cares? Now, he digs a hole. But, uh, it goes both ways, pal. So, he missed me, but... Oh, he used attack. That was pretty smart on his part, but... It was also... I don't regret using dig, because... You can dodge with dig. And... Okay, wreck its face. There we go, strength. See, Entei... He's a physical attacker, so don't count on... Uh, don't count on a fire to get you through every time. Anyway, we're just going to surf the Sonics. I don't know why he has an Onyx. I mean, that's like a freebie right there. Let's see, he's going to use Hitmonchan. I'm just going to let him use Thunder Punches on me if he wants. I don't care. I'll just blast him with a couple of surfs. Yeah, see, Suicune can take it. There's this guy on YouTube, and he's he has this video that's like, um, Lucario versus Suicune, as if they're a match or something. Yeah, he's matching them up. I'm like, dude, th there's no contest. Um, Suicune can absolutely destroy Lucario. To say otherwise is just stupidity. Anyway, uh, whoa, I critical hit him, okay. So, here's Machamp. This is the only Pokemon in his whole team that you really have to take seriously. So, what I'm going to do against this Machamp, uh, I, let's see, notice I haven't used Dragonite once yet, because I don't need to. Let's see, um... Ah, oh, what the heck, I'll hit him with a little more electricity. That cross-chop move, that is beastly, dude. Did you see that? That's an amazing move. I think I'll just uh, send my defender against him. And cross-chop. Did he get another? He got another critical on me. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's a, that's a pretty beastly move. But uh, let's go ahead. Oh, you using max potion? Come on, dude. I want to end this battle today. And he still beat me with a rock slide. I can't believe it. He's forced me to resort to Meganium. But uh, anyway, I beat him, and just in time to end this recording. So when we come back, we'll face the other two 
um, people in here. So until next time.